The open data movement is an effort mostly by librarians and advocates who are anti-censorship, who are very much about free speech and freedom of expression, as a way to archive um, reports that scientists make or others make and make it accessible to the general public through the internet. And while the in open data movement is very promising in that it gives people access to journal articles and things that would otherwise be quite expensive, you would still have to have access to high-speed broadband internet to get access to that open data. Even though open data will, the movement of open data will say, you know, this is about making scientific articles accessible, uh, or any articles, journal articles, scholarly articles, scholarly products, as well as raw data sets accessible to the general public. What indigenous people need to understand is that even if they get access to those articles and to those data sets, they may still be written and composed from a Western scientific point of view. And so they may not be the data sets or the interpretation that are most meaningful or most useful for native and indigenous peoples. So native and indigenous peoples will still want to take those uh, measurements, essentially those raw data sets with a grain of salt and reinterpret them in light of their own community's needs and their own community's philosophies. As far as being a native scientist, what we don't want to do when we work with data is replicate the, the colonial crimes that science has inflicted on native and indigenous communities. So we not only want to make sure that our data is, has integrity, that it's reliable, it's accurate, it's precise, it's up to date, it's useful, we also want to make sure that it is something that was collected with an eye of justice toward Native and Indigenous communities.